The one-month-old search for Charles Manali ended at 9 o'clock this morning at the police headquarters boardroom. Lawyer Metcalf and his colleague accompanied Manali with a few officers who had been searching for him. Since the 28th of last month, when Manali allegedly failed to report for work, these officers could not locate him. He consulted his lawyer, Richard Metcalf, and the two reached an agreement that he surrenders. Metcalf, in turn, informed the Inspector General of the police. The agreement reached, and the Inspector General was very happy at the way that the manhunt had been resolved. From the client perspective, and from yourself as a lawyer, I wish you could really persuade all those ones that uh, are at large, including Shaduka, to hand himself over to us. For the Itunga and Metcalf representing Manali, the resolution of the current case was exemplary, and they asked other fugitives to follow suit in order to save resources and moderate the tension that goes with such searches. Asked why Manali only surrendered today, Metcalf said the media had played a key role in cementing the fears he had about surrendering earlier. The photographs that appeared in the newspapers and that uh, portrayed him as being a cross-dresser, and this was the reason why he was afraid to hand himself over to the police, due to the fact that he was afraid that he would be molested uh, whilst he was in custody. I have received assurances from the Inspector General and the Commissioner as to uh, measures to uh, protect his physical integrity. Manale, a former Stadaberg employee, had been sought by the police for questioning since the 28th of December last year. Police suspects that he may have embezzled 4.3 million Namibia dollars from his employer, Stadaberg.